Are you tired of getting smashed over and over by the same OP meta picks again and again? Yeah, bans exist, but sometimes there's too much to worry about in League. As a top laner, I personally ban champions in other roles like Yi or Draven so my team doesn't feed them and make them absolutely impossible to deal with later. Then I make myself responsible for whoever I have to lane against. When you actually know how to counter it, even the most OP pick can be dealt with. Sometimes you get such a good counter matchup that it actually works in your favor to be against a pick that most people would never consider leaving unbanned. So, in this video, we'll be going over the runes, builds, and playstyles to effectively deal with some of the strongest, highest pick rate champions in the current meta for each role. That way, you'll have the game knowledge and confidence to deal with these OP picks. But before I do, I just want to take a minute to remind you that while meta videos and other content are a great way to pick up some quick tips, if you're super serious about improving, you should head over to ProGuides.com. Our coaching staff is made up of top level players and they're available 24-7 so it's always a good time to stop by. And for just $7.99 a month, you can take your ProGuides experience to the next level. Our premium sub gives you access to all of our courses and bootcamp content and we'll even throw in a 10% coaching discount. If you're ready to take your gameplay to the next level, trust me, it's worth every penny. Now, let's get started. The first champ we'll be looking to counter is Gangplank. Objectively speaking, Gangplank is an incredibly strong champ. A player that is truly good at him has an almost unbeatable laning phase and will have the barrel mechanics later in the game to dish out huge damage with little to no counterplay. But that's assuming perfect play. Most people aren't actually that good at GP. In fact, he's around a 50% win rate, which is low for a champion that's supposed to be so strong right now. That's because outside of a few players at the very top of the ladder, most people just don't have the perfect laning skills you need to build up a big lead with him early, nor are they super impressive with his barrels. And the champion we'll be looking at to exploit that is Kale. In the first few levels, you will definitely feel like this matchup is not that good. But then again, what Kale matchup does feel good early on? Take what farm you can safely get, but mostly focus on just getting XP it's okay to be down CS as long as you hit level 6 at the same time as him. Once you have it, the lane should completely shift in your favor. Now that you have ranged auto attacks, you should be able to pretty easily deal with his barrels and start taking favorable trades. He would still win 1v1s if you both fought to the death, so keep the trading light until you have level 11 and 2 items. From this point on, every fight should easily swing in your favor. For our second matchup, we'll be looking to counter Mundo. Even after the B patch, he's still the best top laner in the game overall. We already told you guys how to counter him with Fiora in our last video, but since she's banned pretty frequently, we figured giving a second answer would probably be nice. The champ we're going with this time is Gwen. Gwen is just an all-around good pick into just about any tank. She deals percent HP, with some of it being true damage, and heals off the damage dealt. That, combined with her naturally itemizing into Riftmaker, makes champions with huge HP pools like Mundo into giant health batteries for Gwen. One thing I'd like to note is to not fall for the TP Ignite bait. You'll feel a lot better running Ghost on her, with either TP or Ignite being good as your other summoner. Taking a look now at the jungle, the first pick we'll be looking to abuse is Silas. While he's the most popular jungle pick at the moment, he's definitely not the best. In fact, his win rate is in the red. Just like with mid laners, a lot of junglers think they can just pick it because some high elo players make it work. But Silas is one of those champions where you can't just lock him in with no know-how and win. He's tough to play and honestly ends up being pretty easy to go against. So why not make it even easier and pick his hardest counter by locking in Warwick? From level 1s to 18, Warwick absolutely smashes Silas. This is one of those counters where you win by just being the better 1v1 champion. The second pick we'll be looking at for this role is Maokai as an answer to Echo. Echo is both very popular and very consistent, which is really frustrating to deal with considering he's an assassin. Assassins can be a real pain to handle since even if you're fed on another carry, they end up one-shotting you. But with Maokai, you'll make the gameplay unplayable for him. Unlike our last counter, which focused on 1v1s, you're ruining his teamfight potential by locking him down in fights, either forcing him to ult out early or killing him before he even gets the chance. Now, for the mid lane, we'll be finding an answer to Katarina. 
Cat is one of the most punishing champions to lane against. Messing up even once can usually be enough for her to take an all in against you. But when you pick Galio, she'll struggle to ever find an opening. If she goes in for a trade, you hit back harder with your crowd control and bursty combo, allowing you to easily win the trade. In team fights, your CC makes it really hard for her to do anything, and if she does get past you, your AoE magic shield on your ultimate helps nullify a lot of her damage. The other mid laner to talk about is Vex. Punishing her can be hard. By design, she has a ton of anti-aggression built into her kit. If you try to go in on her with any melee assassin or close range mage, her shield and fear makes it very easy to land the rest of her combo. But as Lux, you get to punish her from afar, leaving her with little room to actually hit you. Instead of forcing kills, you'll just be chipping away at her with constant e-poke. If you land a snare later, you can maybe burst her down with your ultimate, but you should be happy to just bully her out of lane even if you're not actually getting kills. Moving things down to the bot lane, a champion that's been a big problem lately is Samira. Small meta shifts have caused her to become really strong and kinda like Kat, she's a champion that can easily punish a single mistake and turn it into an unstoppable snowball. In the past, there have been other reliable counters to her like Vayne and Senna, but Vayne is pretty average at the moment and picking Senna is just trolling. But thankfully, there's one more option that's not just a counter to Samira, but is just a super strong champion in general right now. I'm talking about Neela. The newest addition to the AD carry lineup is a super strong counter to any bot lane that wants to go for all lanes. Being melee, her only real weakness is bot lanes that can poke from afar, but when your opponents want to go in on you, they're doing you a big favor. In fact, her one weakness is that since she's melee, some higher ranged foes can bully her from afar, but when the enemy bot lane wants to get up close, they're doing you a solid, doing the gap closing for you. Also, you can use your W to block a good amount of Samira's damage during trades, which is especially useful when she's ulting. At the same time, you should be winding up your own ultimate, which will cancel hers out and usually set you up for an easily won fight. The other AD carry we'll be looking to take down is Jin. Jin's laning phase can be really hard to beat. There's a reason people pick him into Caitlyn. Winning early is sort of what he's all about. If he can initiate a trade by landing his root, he usually comes out on top of the fight. But with Heimerdinger, you don't ever let him get the chance. Heimer is the definition of a lane neutralizer. With him, you just perma shove the waves with turrets and look to poke Jin and his support as they try to farm under the turret. If they ever try to go in for a trade, use grenades to disengage and rinse and repeat. Now for our supports. The first champion we want to counter is Nami. While enchanters are typically thought of as weak early and strong later, Nami is an exception to that rule. She's a pretty strong lane bully with good poke and sustain that allows her to force other champions out of lane in most matchups. As a Mumu, you can look for all lanes to prevent the lane from becoming a war of attrition, but that's also assuming you have a strong enough AD carry to do so. Nami is not just limited to pokey trades. If she's the one with the better early game AD carry, you may not even be able to force fights. Instead, you'll just have to bide your time and wait until later teamfights, where your superior teamfighting makes you the more useful champion. Finishing off our list, we've got Sona as a counter to Lulu. Lulu is definitely the stronger early game champion with better burst, better consistent DPS, and even better shielding in 2v2s. But the thing is, she doesn't have the tools to force trades. All you'll be doing as Sona is maxing W, surviving the laning phase, and scaling up for teamfights later. While Lulu is buffing a single carry at that point, you'll be supporting the entire team. Once you reach this point of the game, you'll always offer a lot more than her just by face rolling your spells in 5v5s. And that wraps things up for our 1223B counter picks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can really use at least one of these picks in your games. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can always be a step ahead of the meta. If there are any other OP meta picks that you just can't deal with, be sure to let us know down in the comments section below and we'll maybe feature them in our next video. And one last thing, do not forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss the leak further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until then, good luck on the rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.